Here's uh, some really short code that you can use to test whether or not your Arduino can control your motors. Let me find my exclusive pointer. So right, so pin two on port GPIO port two on Arduino is going to in one on the motor controller. So that's how we define those. We have ENA not is port 9 and ENB is on port 11. To do the setup we open a serial port uh, because we can write out to that serial port and get messages on the serial monitor from the Arduino. Helps us to learn what's going on, kind of a little debug tool. We set all of these pins as outputs and then we go into a loop and all we're doing is we're writing a high to ENA which is <coughs> uh, the enable uh, for pin 1 so we're basically go telling it to go full speed on ENA and in 1 we set that to a high to turn the motor on we set it to a low to turn the motor off and then we're writing out to the serial port in 1 there's a delay, but it's going to loop anyway, so let's go ahead and open the serial monitor. You do that by tools, serial monitor. And you can see I've already loaded this code and it's printing in one, although I haven't turned the batteries on to the car. Um, you also need to make sure you have the correct COM port set so you, you can talk to the Arduino. And now I'll turn the motors on. So you now can see the wheels over here in the back are moving in the forward direction at full speed. So now that we, now we know that DNA controls what you might say the right side of the car, looking from behind the car, so the right side of the car forward is in one. So now that we know that, let's come in here and make an annotation. Insert a comment, right side forward. And I am guessing that this one is going to be right side reverse. And we'll see what the others are. And ENA9 is controlling the right side. Okay, um, let's see if we can control the speed. So I'm going to comment out this digital right. going to come in here and say analog write ENA and we're going to give it a number between 0 and 255. 0 meaning basically stopped, 255 meaning basically full speed. Um, I have experienced with this is that if you go if you get below 60 or 70 the motors won't even turn so it really is just a range between maybe 60 and 255 um, so let's set it to 120 and so that should be about half speed and change our message here in one half speed 
Let's download it. Or upload it, as they like to say. So it looks like it's uploading and we're now getting the correct monitor message. Let's turn on the batteries and see what happens. Okay, so that does kind of sound like half speed. So we can do both. We can control the wheels and we can control the speed. So I'm not going to put the camera on this screen, but you can figure this out. I am now going to change it to ENB and in 3. And I'm going to upload it. It's done uploading, so now let's see what happens. So this is ENB in 3. Okay, so now we know that in 3 is reverse on the left side. So we now have the software mapped to control the wheels from the Arduino uh, and, and basically you can figure out the other combinations of in 4 being forward on the left side. Um, and you saw the code, so that's easily typed into your Arduino uh, tool. Um, and that concludes learning how to control the motors with an Arduino on the MakerFire Smart Car Chassis Kit.